I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s a Buddha and bitches with beepers In the streets I could greet ya Can I have a bad bitch without no flaws? Come to meet me without no draws Dinner with Anna Winter What up YouTube, it's your boy Nate Triple O G! It's been a long time Without a dope beat, step two Yo, I'm sorry I've been away Haven't been able to do the videos the way I want to do them I'm not ever really home I know I keep telling you guys that And you know you guys are like you used to be my nigga, but you changed up, dog. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to G Herbo. Swervo. Swervo. Anyway, so if you follow my Instagram, I already told you guys that I wanted to do a review of this shoe right here. This one. Boom. Bam. Anna Wintour. Vogue. All that. Yeah. I'm so excited about this shoe, and I am going to give you guys that fire on feet. But first, let's go ahead and get up close and personal with the shoe. I've seen other reviews, and they just haven't been, I don't know, detailed. You know what I mean? Let's get, let's get in there. Let's, let's, let's get in there. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's get in there. Get in there, get in there. Let's Yo, so let's go ahead and get inside this box. So we got the red box up top. Uh, we have Vogue here on the outside. And we have Anta Winter, Anna Winter uh, Signature this on that side there here if you want to see the official colorway it's uh let me open the box so we can see that a little bit uh there so it's uh women's air jordan 3 r to r s e uh and a winter okay that's the aw okay nrg now r to r i don't know what that stands for you know i guess if i wanted to be corny it's because these did come out during uh fashion week 2018 we'll say um it's uh rip the runway but if you know what R to R means, please leave that comment below. But let's go ahead and open up the shoes. Boom. So as you see first, you got that Anta Winter, Anna Winter. Um, I've seen this right there, the Anna Winter OK. Then you got that Jordan on the paper, whatever. But let's go ahead and get inside these shoes. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. That's fire. But anyway, let's get a little closer in person. All right. So we know that this is a women's shoe. Um, I was able to get like my size of women's. I wear a size nine, so I just went up a size to a size 10 so I can get this. I don't think it went that high in sizes. I think the highest size that it did go to, if you were comparing it to a men's shoe, I believe that is a size 11. Anyway, so let's get up close personal with the shoe. So if you look at the material, this is supposed to be like a tweed, but it's really not tweed. It's like, it's like plastic. You know what I mean? Um, the materials are really thin. Um, on the black here, I mean, on the back here, we have this. Uh, black, it reminds you of her uh, sunglasses. And I went to sunglasses. We know that her look is, I'll put it right here in the corner, something like that. Yeah, she usually wears like tweed jackets with like black shades. That is like her look. You know what I mean? So if you look at the quality of the shoe, we got the all black right here on the midsole. Got that cream. This is like a cream. It's not like white. I wonder if the camera gives you that. On the bottom of the shoe, you got that red Jordan here. Jordan at the top right here, all cream. You know what I mean? Anta Winter's okay. That's the signature that she gives uh, when she okay something. And if usually if she doesn't write Anna Winter okay on there, she writes, uh, come see me. And if you've been a boss or an employee, you know, when you get that, come see me, it ain't no good. You know what I mean? We got that nice leather right here on the tongue. Uh, the shoestrings are like satin. So if you remember the um, the satin uh, ones, that's what those shoestrings look like. So it's not satin. I guess it's like a satin nylon type of thing. So that's pretty cool. All black eyelets right here with the cream here. Black right here. Nice, they changed the uh, tag on the inside. It has edited by Vogue. You know, on the outside, got that Jumpman. Yeah, let's go to the inside of the shoe. We got that red Jumpman right in the inside. Boom, so this is thin. On the inside right here, it is satin. Also right here inside the shoe, this is satin. So people were saying like, this is like some plastic. This is no different from all the other Jordan 3s. You know what I mean? It's the same type of thing. So don't let them make you make it seem like these are cheesy materials. The only thing that I think is like a little different is that this is not actually tweed. I thought that Nike would have did like Harris tweed when making the shoes. But what I will say is with this black, whatever material this is, this plastic or whatever, it does make it like it sparkles. You know what I mean? So it's like uh, it's kind of like it reminds me of something like Sarvaski. You know what I mean? Not that it is like actual crystal, but if you like walking away, you're going to get that shine. As you can see right there, how that light hits it, you get that shine. So the way I would wear these is probably with like some black jeans or something, or like like a straight black, you know what I mean? Not like no gray, but like a real jet black, black jean, you know what I mean? And I think this would like really be like fire, you know what I mean? I really like the shoe a lot. Um, the other shoe comes with an extra pair of laces, uh, cream, 
like that cream nylon, you know what I mean? I know I said this earlier that the the materials are thinner, you know what I mean? So it's dope, my other shoe got edited by Vogue, you know what I mean? Pretty dope shoe, man, dope in my opinion. I know people have been like saying that it's corny, that it's not good, but I think it is. Right there on the toe box, you got that leather on the toe box, all right? Pretty dope, that cream stitching there. You know what I mean? Real clean shoe in my opinion. And especially on like, so if you've been buying like uh, Jordans this year, especially Jordan 3s, right? If you go back to some of my past videos, I complain about like the painting on here. It's usually like rough, not good. It's like usually like all scratched up. But if you see all through there, you know what I mean? This is like a really good paint job right there on that midsole. You know what I mean? I think that's really good. You know what I mean? Compared to the uh, Travis Scott 4s, the Katrina 3s, even the uh, Cement 3s that came out this year, especially the Justin Timberlake ones. Like I said, I said that this year. Like, it seems like they put 3s, Jordan 3s inside the vault, and then they brought them right back out. Yo, but these are super fresh. Um, I don't feel like changing my clothes, so I'm going to give you guys an on feet uh, with what I'm wearing today. Uh, so it'll just be one look. Hopefully you guys like the music that's playing. One of my favorite artists right now that I've been listening to like crazy. That's that Bum J. Go ahead and download that mixtape uh, from Chicago. He's the chief, ain't no kings, you know what I mean? But let's go ahead and get into that right about now. Yeah. Luxury. Gee. Yeah, big wheels with the small buttons. I did it all, saw nothing. Yeah, lifestyle of the rich and dangerous. Don't go plot on this chain, boy, that'll get you famous. Yeah, front page, nigga, front page. Half a band for these entrees. Who pretty as Beyonce when the sun rays? Hit them diamonds, they go to dancing like they on stage. Bitch, I'm shining, yeah. Clash of the Titans, last of the Giants. You just no pass, time to feel the wrath of a tyrant. Case closed, it's that 1998 flow. I just left the babe stole, in my plate closed. Get your drapes closed, fucking with my pesos. Boy, that's suicide like the rape does. All my shorties throw his drums in them Dracos. And you gon' have to kill me for that safe code. You gon' have to kill me for that presidential Them niggas was just around you, they was never with you Kylo of America's top models I can see the whole Chicago from my top floor Bottles poppin', I ain't took a sip yet I'm high off life, drunk off of success If life's a bitch with thick hips and big breasts We done ran a train on her, you ain't got your dick wet Jumped off the porch early, landed in the money Every tenth that my workers handing in the money Left the PJs, hopped on the PJ We don't rack commercial no more, baby, we paid yeah. Yeah. The, the, the fast life Duffel bag full of cash, what your cash like? Throw it all on the floor, holla pass dice The fast life, the fast life Yeah, the, the, the fast life Got a pocket full of cash, what your cash like? Throw it all on the floor, holla pass dice The fast life, the fast life <laughs> What did you guys think about that on feet? Like, yo, I think this shoe is like really dope I think it can be styled like really dope Um... Uh, let me uh put a picture up here. So I'm gonna put a picture of somebody wearing like um, a black tweed jacket. And maybe I can put a picture of Anna Winter also. So just imagine yourself with this, these jeans, and these shoes. Like just take the shoes off that he has off. Uh, put these shoes on. You know what I mean? I think that look is gonna be perfect, especially in the fall. You know, it's coming up. I'm glad these came out. One thing you don't want to do when wearing this shoe. Nobody wants to wear all black. Please do not wear all black. Like. Head to toe all black. You know what I mean? That's like the worst thing. Uh, Anna Winter agrees with me. I'll put a video up of her saying that also. Um, but like you want to contrast colors. So there go some styling tips from Nate. Um, tell me what you guys think. Also, uh, I have a question of the day. Oh, another thing. Man, I got so many thoughts going through my head. Um, the question that I want to ask you guys. So you guys have seen all my videos of my shoes and everything and all the things that I do. Today I was out shopping and my son asked me, he's like, Dad, I want some light up shoes. So I bought him light up shoes. I'm going to show you guys the shoes that I bought him. Hold up. So my son, he's in kindergarten and he wanted some of these. He actually wanted Star Wars light up shoes. We couldn't find Star Wars, but we did find these Skechers. And when you hit them like that, they light up. He's really excited about having these. I'm excited that he's excited 
about having these. He has other shoes also. But, you know, I always see people put up, like, statuses and things up on Facebook. Hey, you got on a new Prada, or Gucci, or Yeezys, or Jordans, but your kid ain't got the Jordans and anything like that. Now, my son, he has those type of things also. But my whole thing is, like, you know, he really wanted light-up shoes. You know, I, and he really, really wanted them. So, hey, I bought them for him. I think it's all about making kids happy. You know what I mean? And not making them become... I guess slaves to brands, you know, you know, you don't want to be a slave. I don't know if that's a hard, hard word to use, slaves. But anyway, um, I don't want him to be like, I gotta have this brand. It's all about buying what you like. And he liked these. And I like that he liked these because these was easy on my pockets. Chin -chin. You did. Anyway, the kicks that I'm wearing today, and I think I can do this at, at the end of every episode, show you the kicks that I'm rocking. I'm rocking these. This was my KOD today. I know that these are releasing today. I know they did release today. Today is September 15th. Hopefully you were able to get you a pair. You know what I mean? And I hope you guys got that W. These are all over the place. I did not go. Um, I didn't even go out today to try to get these. I spent time with my family. Uh, I didn't want to. Uh, didn't really want to go out there and try to get them because I already got a pair. So. Anyway, hope you guys won. Thank you guys for staying subscribed to the channel. I believe there were almost at 250 subscribers. I think we're at 249. You know what I mean? The channel has, like, the growth of the channel has died down because I have not been putting out so many videos like I was doing. Uh, work plays a part into that. I'm never home. Uh, but the new food channel is coming. It is coming. I, like I said, I got six videos now already done. You know what I mean? I just want to have, like, enough done so I can have a nice, smooth rollout, like, uh, every Thursday or something. So it'll be, like, eating on the run or something like that. Something like Nori or something. I don't know. Eating with Nate. I don't know. Still trying to work out those names. But, buy what you like. Rock what you like. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully it's not a month from now. Hopefully it's sooner than that. You know. Peace. <laughs>